we are um, celebrating some success uh, with our uh, Disability Support Services program. Um, as Bob mentioned earlier in the accreditation exit interview that we had, um, our DSS office was highlighted as a commendation for the college and to acknowledge the good work that they do to help to um, all of our students to feel supported here. So in October, we celebrate Disability Awareness Month. <coughs> so our student speaker tonight was selected by our Disability Support Services office. And I ask that uh, Megan Jacerta please come forward to introduce our student. But I would like to share that Megan also shared with me that last year in our DSS office, we served over 600 students with a variety of different accommodations. Um, and over 900 students self-disclose that they have a disability of some sort. Not all students request accommodations, but our office is small but mighty, and they do tremendous work on behalf of our community and our students. And so, Megan, thank you. Well, good evening. It uh, gives me great pleasure to introduce our student speaker, um, Madeline Forbes. You can make your way up here. Um, Madeline. Um, Madeline is a delight and she's always full of energy. She's been at Clark for a few years. She's completed her early childhood education certificate and she's now working on the degree and she has um, lots of ideas of what she might pursue after that as well. So I'm going to let Madeline share her story and um, we are very excited to hear from you, Madeline. Washington School for the Deaf. I had an individualized education plan while I attended there, and I've been there since eighth grade. So I was there for four years, and my educational plan included support services when it comes to English. Sorry, pardon me, I'm looking at my phone for my script. graduated the Washington School for the Deaf, I immediately went to a Texas community college. They had an international <laughs> program and I was the only deaf person at that community college. I attended there for six months and then I left their college because I realized I could not catch up to the information there. I joined Clark College in the spring of 2015. <coughs> and I progressed through my studies here and persevered to achieve my college dreams and pursue my major of the Early Childhood Education Program. Mm -hmm. 
after I received my certificate, I just start, decided to work towards my associate's degree in early childhood education, and I was accepted into the English Academic IVES program, which is the Integrated Basic Education and Skills Training Program, which is really wonderful for me. And I've pursued my goals and have become successful through the IVEST program that Clark College offers. I'm taking currently the English and Communications IVEST cohort program this semester, this quarter. I have also started working with the APB board and I am the Family Events Coordinator. This is actually one of the movies, a flyer for an event I will be hosting soon. And I am here because of all the help that Clark College has given me the tutoring center, for example, I was get, they recently hired a tutor who knows American Sign Language, and I've been able to receive direct access and communication through that tutor. Disability Support Services has been instrumental in helping me succeed. That, that would be all. <laughs> So I selfishly am asking what you plan to do after you get your early education degree. I would like to work in the Washington School for the Deaf, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Say darn it. Well, Say yeah, darn it. darn it. I was hoping I could get you to come, come work for me. I would like to talk. Well, I'll wait till you get done and then I'll come back well, and run you down. I've got to make sure I'm wearing the right hat. <laughs> and when will you complete your program? Within the next two years. I, I'm expected to graduate in 2020. Thanks. That's outstanding. Is a wonderful personality, and I know she's going to be very successful. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.